I've got a simple circuit and I need to change the resistance in it. Is there such a thing as a adjustable resistor? Ah uh, yes, you mean a variable resistor. That's the one. Can I borrow one? Of course, here is a rheostat. A what? A rheostat. Is it a variable resistor? Uh, yes, well, no, um, it's a rheostat. Well, what does it do? Well, it is essentially a resistor you can change the resistance of. So it is a variable resistor? Yes, but no, it's a rheostat. Hello and welcome to Underdog Physics. Today we'll be looking at the rheostat. This is a rheostat. It's a resistor that you can vary the resistance of, so it is a variable resistor. It's literally a really long piece of wire that's coiled around the central block here, with three connecting terminals that you can use in various combinations. The most basic way to use a rheostat is to connect it up using these two terminals here. By doing this, it behaves just like a fixed resistor. Sliding this doodad makes no difference at all. This is because the current in your circuit must travel through the entire length of the coiled wire. And that's it. Oh wait, there's more. If we connect up this rheostat using this terminal here and this here, we can adjust how much of this coil of wire is included in our circuit. So we can adjust how much resistance is in our circuit. We've adjusted the resistance of the rheostat. This is how it works. With our rheostat connected up like this, it means that the current is going in here, travels through this section of wire, which remember has some resistance, before hopping up onto the top bar, which has negligible resistance, and then it continues onto the rest of the circuit. Sliding the doodad this way means that the current travels through more of the wire before jumping onto the zero resistance bar. This gives us more resistance. Sliding the doodad all the way to the other side means that the current, in this case, doesn't even go through the coil of wire, goes straight to the zero resistance bar, giving us zero resistance. So just like a normal connecting wire. As you've probably guessed, we can get a whole range of resistances all the way from zero ohm to whatever the maximum resistance of our rheostat is, and everywhere in between. But wait, there's more! The rheostat works both ways round. I mean, it is just a piece of wire. If we plug in our cable here, our current travels through this coil of wire, then goes onto the bar and then back out the top. The rheostat behaves in the same way as before, but the effect on the resistance as you slide the slider might be opposite to what you expect. Just keep an eye on where the current would flow based on how you've connected up the rheostat and you're good to go. As it happens, we can connect up all three of these terminals for this rheostat and use it as a potential divider, but that's something I'm going to have to look at in another video. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this useful and please feel free to like, share, subscribe and stick a comment in the comments below if you want to. Rheostat. A what? A rheostat. A what? A rheostat. A what? A rheostat. A what? A rheostat.